Welcome to the latest video of the series How to Paint Your Dark Souls Miniature. Today we will cover the steps to paint all the Phantoms from the Phantoms expansion. If you like this tutorial, you will find much more Dark Souls content, other board game unboxing, how to play videos and reviews on this channel. So if you're new, welcome and consider subscribing to always receive the latest updates. Apart from the monsters and bosses that you face in the game, one of the coolest moments that there is in Dark Souls series is when you encounter with people to play with. Players who are guests in a host world are known as phantoms. Phantoms are designed a recognizable color to establish their friendliness or hostility to a host and this is the line that we will take when painting the miniatures. White phantoms are there to assist the players in co-op and gain souls in the process. Same for gold phantoms that are seeking for sunlight medals, while red phantoms can be the terror of some players by invading their world for PvP combats, like Nick. To start this project you need Abaddon Black, Astaroth Red, Longbeard Grey, Cassandra Yellow, No Oil, and Black Primer. Speaking of Black Primer, that will be our first step. I detail the process of preparing the miniatures in another video. So don't forget to check it out before we start painting. Besides the primer, I also added a layer of Abaddon Black. Since the black will be showing the final miniature, it is nice to paint a layer of the acrylic base to avoid the primer from peeling. Our white phantoms consists in basically a dry brush layer of long beard grey. You can use either a round or flat brush as long as the fibers are strong for what we will do next. Don't even think about using a soft brush or I will destroy your brush. In fact, if you do use a soft brush, I will invade your world and steal your souls. Take the paint, clean the excess in a napkin or paper towel and apply it in an upwards to downwards motion. Keeping the same direction allows for you to have a consistent highlight direction. Continue to do the same across the whole model until you're happy with the results. For the red phantoms, we will do the same, but with the Astaroth red. I recommend using a different brush from the white one, because the first one is probably cleaned and drying at the moment, and you don't want to use a wet brush for the dry layer, otherwise the model can be stained. You can break the rule of upward to downward motion to go against the texture in some parts, so the pen sticks to the elevated areas of the model. Continue applying through the whole model. For Solaire, we will start the process similar to the White Phantoms, with the long beard grey dry brush, but we will shade it different afterwards to get the golden mix. You can say that deep down he's a White Phantom after all. Apply this layer as you apply the others before. Now that the dry brush part is done, we will shade the model. The shade for the red and white phantoms is done with no oil. Here you can use the soft brush, I won't allow it.
For Soler, instead of shading with the new oil, we will shade with Cassandora Yellow. What you see here is the second layer of Cassandora. I had to apply two layers to reach the glowy results that I wanted from him. The Cassandora shade will stain the long beard grey to give the lively yellow tone of the gold invaders. Once everything is dry, paint the base of the model with Abaddon White. I recommend cleaning the excess of the dry splatters with a cloth or paper towel before painting the base, otherwise you will get a crunchy texture. Apply two layers if needed. After some testing, I'm quite happy with this matte varnish, so I finalized the models with a layer for protection. The matte option also reduces the glossiness of the model, so if you prefer your model shiny, you can use a gloss varnish. Now that you know how to paint each of the types of phantoms, you just need to rinse and repeat for all the remaining miniatures. Don't give up skeleton, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time.